गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज नेशनल ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन मिशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज Recently the Union Cabinet has approved the National Green Hydrogen Mission which is aimed at making India the global hub for the production of green hydrogen. Now let's discuss about the mission. The National Green Hydrogen Mission was first announced by the Prime Minister in his Independence Day speech in 2021. It aimed to cut down carbon emissions and increase the use of renewable sources of energy the ministry of new and renewable energy or mnre will formulate the scheme guidelines for implementation all concerned ministries departments agencies and institutions of the central and state governments will undertake focused and coordinated steps now moving on to its objectives to make india a global hub for the production of green hydrogen to increase annual green hydrogen production to 5 million tons as well as add about 125 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity creation of export opportunities for green hydrogen and its derivatives decarbonization of the energy sector and use in mobility applications in a bid to lower the dependence on fossil fuels development of indigenous manufacturing capacities the government plans to bring down the cost of renewable power generation and of electrolyzers used to produce green hydrogen through implicit subsidy support and government backed r&d push now let's have a look at the components of the mission site strategic interventions for green hydrogen transition program under this two financial incentive mechanisms have been created targeting domestic manufacturing of electrolyzers and production of green hydrogen strategic hydrogen innovation partnership or ship under this public private partnership framework for r&d will be facilitated under the mission next is green hydrogen hubs regions capable of supporting large scale production and or utilization of hydrogen will be identified and developed as green hydrogen hubs policy framework an enabling policy framework will be developed to support the establishment of the green hydrogen ecosystem standards and regulations framework will also be developed a coordinated skill development program will also be undertaken and support pilot projects in emerging end use sectors and production pathways now let's discuss about india's status for green hydrogen india has begun to generate green hydrogen with the objective of raising non fossil energy capacity to 500 gigawatts by 2030 oil india limited or oil recently commissioned India's first 99% pure green hydrogen plant in eastern Assam's Jorhat. NTPC in Kavas Surat has started India's first green hydrogen blending operation in piped natural gas or PNG network. Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Board that is PNGRB has given approval for a 5% blending of green hydrogen with PNG later to be scaled to 20% and strategic clean energy partnership or scep to mobilize finance and speed up green energy development now it's time for the practice question consider the following statements regarding the national green hydrogen mission one it was first announced by the prime minister in his independence day speech in 2021 two The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy or MNRE will formulate the scheme guidelines for implementation which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching have a great day 
डियर व्यूवर्स वॉच दिस टॉपिक इन हिंदी ऑन आर दृष्टि आई एस हिंदी यूट्यूब चैनल